The active state platform makes it easy to understand whether your Python, Perl, or Tickle environments are vulnerable, and then update it and rebuild it to make sure you have a secure environment for use. Let me show you how. So as you can see, my Perl project has one high vulnerability against it. What I want to do is see if I can modify the configuration to get rid of that. Now you can see the package that's giving me a problem here is Crypt Perl. Get some more information by clicking the drop down here. This will take me off to the National Vulnerability Database that just gives me a description of what this vulnerability is all about. But uniquely, the Active State platform gives me another idea that allows me to check out and see if there are newer versions that are secure, don't have that vulnerability against them. And it looks like there is. So what I want to do here is first, I'm going to create a branch. We'll call this branch the fix branch. I'll go back to my configuration page and change it over to that fix branch. Now I can just go ahead, click the drop down, select the most recent version of Crypt Perl. You can see I now have no more vulnerabilities in my environment. I'll go ahead and commit that. And we'll see how we've rebuilt. Just click on the view status. And the Active State platform just takes a few seconds to go ahead and rebuild my environment for me. And there it's done. So rather than going through the whole lengthy investigation process to see if my application is affected by the vulnerability, I can simply just rebuild my environment in a few seconds and then run this through my CICD pipeline to see if everything is great.